Hello, my weird robot. Hello, my fellow weirdos and spooky friends, and welcome to Dottie Does DIY, the craft show where I have no idea what's going on. Let's fix these lamps. All right, friends, you know we won this estate sale getting not one, but two cowboy boot lamps. However, we're gonna need to make a shade for this one, but we are in DIY heaven as this seems like a fun project. First, I just cleaned up the base and then the other lampshade using some baby wipes, which is probably not the best for the finish, but hey, it's what we got and it worked really, really well. Now it's time for everybody's favorite tool, butcher paper. Just get your lampshade, roll it around from seam to seam, make sure that baby fits nice. And as you can see, I had to tape two pieces together, but hey, it works. Mark your seams where you're gonna start. This is the end, but I lost the footage. And then you're just gonna roll it back along that line again. First, I traced the bottom, as you can already see, and then here's how I traced along the top. Yeah, back of my head. And then just mark, 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 keep rolling it, keep checking it on the other line. The bottom's kind of easy, you just go for it, and then the top you roll all the way until you get to the seam, and then markety mark again. Then that's it, let's finish it up. Bam! And a one, two, bam! mark the ends and then I just double checked it by rolling this guy along to make sure it fit again because my line was a little wonky but that's okay no one's gonna see it just cross out the lines you don't want to use add some seam allowance I added about an inch and a half on that side and a half an inch on the other you want one side to be fatter so you could make your own pretty seam I added about an inch of seam allowance here but that's way too much as we'll find out later so I honestly would just go with like maybe a half inch you can always do extra and cut it off later though. You'll be totally fine. Cut out your pattern. There you go. Now for the most exciting part so far, roll that paper pattern around your lampshade and bam, paper lamp. You did it. Look at that pattern, perfect fit. Time for fabric. Make sure you iron out all the little crinkles and then spread that bad boy out on your table. Look how pretty. Now, if you got a pattern like mine, which I don't necessarily recommend, you're gonna wanna pick a middle. I picked this little cowboy on a horse. If you're working with more of a random pattern like the other boot lamp, then this isn't necessarily as much of a problem. But if you're like me and you wanted to get fancy, now you're going to have to make sure you get that middle right. I just weighted down the fabric and started cutting. Maybe you should pin it. Uh, I'm not here to judge. I'm just here to craft. So here we go. Cut your pattern on out. Little snip, snip, snip. I really like the way this turned out. Like I said, it was crooked, but hey, gorge. Now go ahead and fold that fabric up real nice so you can stash it with the rest of your hoard. And there we go. Now we're going to fold down that hem, which is going to end up being the seam on our lamp. Press it real nice and pretty. Now it's everybody's favorite sticky time, glue time. I use this spray adhesive. You can use whatever you want. You want to really coat the fabric to the edges. Make sure you spray it under that seam and press it back down again. I did this outside so that I didn't get any overspray onto my furniture. Go ahead and do it on another piece of butcher paper and have a clean piece waiting for you when you get back so you don't get it on your craft table. You want to wait a little bit until this feels sticky. It didn't take long, maybe 40 seconds. And then you just line up your pattern right on the edge of your seam there. And just take your time. This is sped up, but press it. Take your time. Make sure there's no air bubbles and just really slick it down there. Look at it. Eh. Nice and pretty. And then you're just gonna go ahead and fold over the seams. Fold that baby down in little small sections and that should keep you from getting any puckers or pockets. Just make it little. Work your way all around the edge and then swing it up to the top. I had a little too much seam allowance and that's okay. Just trim it off. Same thing here, little folds and maybe a little snip right around the middle thingy to make it fit real good. Now it's time for some fashion. We're gonna do a whip stitch of this leather all the way around the top and the bottom, just like on the other lamp. Poke it with your awl, watch your fingers. Just measure about an inch or so apart and try to get it about the same distance from the top. You can eyeball it. And then you're gonna use a paintbrush or whatever you got around to make that hole a little bit bigger, just so that it's a little easier to get that leather through. Make sure you leave a tail so you can tie it later. And then here we go, the fun part. Lace, lace, lace a roux all the way around. You can poke all your holes first, or you can do it kind of as you go so that you can assess how even they look. I would probably recommend that. I did not do that on the bottom, and oh 
wish I did. Now you're gonna do the exact same thing on the bottom. Now take it from me and get way more cording than you think you're gonna need because you're gonna need uh, way more than you think you are. Or is that just me making a trip to the craft store in the middle of every project? Now, here we go again, looping it around. Try to make it nice and tight and do yourself a favor and untwist as you go, cause it's gonna be a real pain to untwist it later. Just keep on going like that. And here is where I'm going to apologize for the fact that I don't seem to have any footage of me uh, tying this off at the end. But basically I just went all the way around and then as you can see those two loose ends there, I had to go back and tighten it up a bit. I just went ahead and tied those together in like a double knot and then I wove the ends underneath the other loops to keep them from unraveling later. And that's it, you made a lampshade. Put some new light bulbs in these babies so they match in wattage. And there you go. This project was pretty easy and I 10 out of 10 recommend. Who doesn't want to design their own lampshades? You don't need much for this project, but the description has it all, all you'll need. And there you have it. Look at these bad boys. We did it. For more DIY where I don't know what's going on, like and subscribe. Got an idea for a project? Leave it in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching, you weirdos. I love you.